In this particular video, I'm going to show you how to hide a profile link in Dynamics 365 customer service. So uh, this is applicable for other uh, specific sites as well, but I'm going to show you specifically for Dynamics 365 customer service Power Pages site. Okay, you can use it for other Power Pages site as well. Now, what do you mean by profile link? So I'm logged into the customer service portal and here, I can see if I click on my name and if I'm logged into the system, then I can see this profile link. Now, what is this profile link? If I click on this profile link, it will show me the information about myself, okay? So it will have nice set of information. And if you want this to hide this page, yes, you can definitely do that. Now, uh, I'm logged in as a separate user called as Alex, okay? Now here, Alex uh, is also logged in and Alex can also see the profile page. Now, how do we hide this information? So a couple of things. One is to hide it from the backend and uh, this URL itself and also remove it from the UI. Okay, so we'll go one step uh, into this. Uh, let me show you here. Okay, so now as you see over here, I'm logged in using myself okay, over here. Now, uh, if you go in the back end of your portal management, then there is a section called as under security web page access control rules. Okay. Now here you can restrict the read access. Okay. So if I click on new, I can put a condition. I will say uh, profile page. Uh, read restriction okay so this can be any name okay and for the website is a uh, one which i have now the web page now here you need to select profile okay now make sure that uh, you will see a couple of profiles over here just go into the advanced lookup and type in profile here and make the one which is uh, like say public okay public profile now here partial url is public partial url is profile so click the one which is public click on done and once you're done with it under the right click on restrict create access check all content save this record okay now once you save this record just give a bit of a sync to the power pages site and once the synchronization is done you will see some observation okay now here uh, what i've done is like i've added a web page access control rule and uh, i have given a sync to the power pages site to sync those configuration changes now remember i'm an admin okay now if i refresh the site what you will see is there won't be any specific changes i can see my name i can see the profile right and even i can go inside the profile Right. So I'm an admin for the site. I made the changes, but still the profile page is visible. But see for the end user, say Alex. Okay. If I click on Alex's home page now, okay. And if I click on Alex Wilbur profile, I can see Alex's profile page as well. Okay. Now let me again give it a sync. In the power pages site okay and i come here now i will go here and i'll change the profile page the one which we selected over here was the public one right that's why i told you that you need to be very careful with this i select profile okay now let's select the profile page okay now Let's see what happens. Okay, if I click on done, I click on save, and then I go into Power Pages and I'll give a sync. As usual, the behavior should be for an admin. Uh, once the synchronization is done, if I'm an admin, if I refresh this page, I'm still able to see the profile information. I get still able to see the profile. Let's see what happens to Alex Wilbur who's like an end user. Now, if you see here, the access is denied, okay? And if I click on home here, and if I click here, then 
I don't see the profile uh, button visible. Okay, so it has done uh, like sufficient work for us. So by making those access control changes and then making it very systematically, uh, I have created a web page access control rule providing a read restriction on the profile page and I've selected the correct profile page. So that is very, very much important. Okay. So that has worked for the end user. The profile page is hidden. But what about administrator? Now for administrator, I can still see the profile page. So now you can't do anything much because you are an admin and you can't technically hide this. Okay. Now from a backend configuration perspective, we have done the maximum configuration. Now, if you want really want to hide this, what you can do is you can go into say uh, on portal management go to web templates and try to find that component now this uh, login component is part of header if i click on header and maybe let me click inside and do a control f and search for profile okay yeah so i'll be <coughs> in the profile section now see this part uh it's a unordered list drop down menu which shows you all the profile navigation link okay and here uh here it will show you all the profile navigation link and you can see the sign out link as well now we'll just remove the side uh, we'll just keep the sign out link uh and then here these all things are like profile link related text, right? Now here, what we can do, we can manipulate the HTML, okay? For this particular list item, I think what I can do, I can comment this code, okay? Let me comment this code and see whether it works or not, okay? You need to be very careful. You need to do it after the divider, else the divider will be visible like how we have seen in the, in case of Alex, you know? So looks good to me. I'll click on save. Give it off sync. And once the synchronization is done, and if we go to Alex, and if you see Alex, you see this uh, divider. If I refresh this further, and if the synchronization is successful, then I should not see that divider, okay? And from an admin perspective, now I'm an admin. Now admin was able to see everything, okay? Let me go into the home for an admin. Earlier I was able to navigate to the profile page. Now the profile page is hidden, okay? Now it is not technically hidden. It is hidden from the menu, but in the back end you can still access it. But for an end user, you can't even access that page, okay? So, so that's it folks. This is how you, uh, hide the profile link from your power pages site thanks for watching